Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. I've got an April favourites for you today. As always, my favourites are in no particular order, so I'm just going to jump in. I've got quite a mix of some that are featured in recent hauls, a couple of drugstore ones, and then some high-end. Um, I'm going to start off with blush, actually, because I love blush. If you watch my channel, you'll know that. Um, first up is the Sleek Lace Palette. This is the blush by three. Um, in particular, I really like this shade here, which is called Chantilly. It's a really great coral colour that's great as we're going into spring, and I've been organised and pre-swatched for you. It's this one here. It's pretty bright. You really only need the lightest touch with this. Certainly don't go in there swirling your brush around and then packing it on unless you want to go for a Coco the Clown look. Um, I think this is fantastic. It would work on all different skin tones. It suits my fair skin, but then because it's so pigmented, um, I think it would work really well on darker skin tones as well. These are fantastic value. They're £9.99 and you get three very pigmented blushes in them. I'm yet to come across a sleek product that I haven't liked and uh, the blushes are no exception, so definitely check these out. Another drugstore blush is the Coastal Scents Tem Blush Palette. This is fantastic value. I picked this up in my Coastal Scents haul. I know there were a couple of requested videos on that haul, so they are coming. I haven't forgotten you. I've really been enjoying this blush palette. You get 10 colours in here. There's a great variety. I'm wearing this one on my cheeks at the moment. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but I just sort of was playing around with this sort of bronzy look as we're going into summer, hopefully. Um, this is the one that is my favourite. It's quite a nice neutral shade that works really well if you're wearing a bright lip, for example. Again, I've swatched it here. It looks a lot more pink in my swatch. It's quite a neutral colour on, on the um, cheeks. Talking of bright lips... I've been loving my MAC Show Orchid lipstick. This is a pro colour and it's an amplified cream sheen. There's a swatch for you just there. This looks absolutely beautiful with just like a little black dress and then very simple sort of rest of the face makeup and this fantastic for a quick night out look and uh, yet still creates a nice impact. Really, really love this. I waited a long time to pick it up. I picked it up in my MAC haul which I will link in the bar below um, and I'm so pleased that I did. Love this. A couple of hand care favourites. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. Now, this is something that I've come back to year after year. I've always had this in my collection. Considering the amount of time and effort and money that I spend on my facial skincare, I really neglect my hands, which is really bad because they say that you can tell a person's age by looking at their hands. With the changeable weather we've been having, I, I guess that's it. My hands have been really, really quite chapped, but just... Putting this on before bed, and I always do apply it before bed because it is pretty greasy, um, for a couple of nights has sorted it out completely. It's like a really intense, powerful hand cream. The scent's not going to be for everyone. It's a very strong botanical scent. I guess it's quite unisex, but it's worth putting up with just for the effect. It's such an intensive hand cream that really is very effective if you've got very, very dry skin. Despite doing monthly favourites, it does actually take a lot to impress me when it comes to beauty products, but I've been absolutely wowed by the Barry M Jelly Nail Polishes. Um, I've got the shade Lychee, which is shade 13, and I'm wearing it on my nails now. This is seriously incredible. This is £3.99. Firstly, they've redone the packaging, so it looks a lot sleeker. It kind of reminds me of the Leighton Denny packaging. Um, I, I can't remember the last time that I painted my nails with the same colour sort of in a row so sort of painting it taking it off and then I will generally apply a different color because I get bored easily you know big girls beauty bloggers we like to try new things I've now applied this three times in a row onto my nails and also planning to wear it next weekend so that'll be four times in a row I love this color I can't get enough of it it's really beautiful neutral it's so long wearing I can wear this for a week on my nails and it just starts to show sort of tip wear and chips it's one of the best formulas I've come across in a really long time. I know I mentioned the session, I know I mentioned the session nail varnishes back in January. Love those. The reason that I sort of, I still love those, but this is quite different. I mean, the sesh ones are opaque within like one coat. They're incredible, so pigmented. This is a lot. This you need to apply two coats, but it's quick drying. It's not streaky. It's just so beautiful. I love the finish. I love the colour. I love how long wearing it is. Just can't get enough of it. And it's £3.99. I love the price too. So definitely check these out. I'm going to be picking up some more of the colours. I think I've got my eye on papaya and the blueberry shade. 
basically I love them I want to collect them all so um, if you're in the UK definitely check out the Barry M jelly nail polishes moving on to eyeshadows now and I have got four eyeshadows this month and I've been organized as I said for once I never pre swatched but I have this time and I realized that two of them are really 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 similar which shocked me I wasn't even aware of it until I came to do my swatches for this video um, the first one which is swatched here is from my Too Faced The Return of Sexy palette which I really like this palette because it's got everything you need for creating a smoky eye regardless of whether you want sort of gold tones, silver tones or um, more purple tones There are a couple of ways in which this falls a little bit short. One, it doesn't have any matte shades in it, and also the palette itself is pretty bulky, so it's not great for travel. I, I love all of the colours in this palette, and I, I like to wear purples on my lids, so the fact that the coloured option was purple, you know, you've got the sort of classic bronzy browns, and then I loved wearing cool tone colours on my eyes because I've got brown eyes, and I think it sort of complements it really nicely. So I knew that I was going to go for this section here which is called the bombshell look the most and the colour I've been going for is this one here called Man Eater. As I said I swatched it here and my other favourite this month is MAC Satin Taupe and they're really 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 quite similar. I don't know how well you're going to see that on camera but when I came to do my swatches I couldn't believe it. Like, maybe Man Eater's got a slight bronzy hint to it that makes it a little bit more intense and night like for um, for a nighttime look than satin taupe, but really hard to tell. I mean, I would struggle to tell the difference, which is quite weird because I've been using them in such different ways. So, as I've already mentioned, so as I've already mentioned, satin taupe is another favourite by MAC. This is this one here in my palette. Generally, I like to pair it with Naked Lunch, which is this one here. Now, if you have access to the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette, this is pretty similar. It's not a perfect dupe but it's pretty close to the eyelid colour um, and I've been pairing these two together I'm going to be doing a tutorial soon so do stay tuned for that so those favourites are Naked Lunch, Satin Taupe and then my other MAC favourite has been Mulch which again I picked up in my MAC haul which I'm going to be linking below the same haul that I picked up Show Orchid in. I'm wearing Mulch on my eyes at the moment do let me know if you'd like a tutorial on this look um, and I've swatched it here for you it's a really nice sort of bronzy brown. It's one that is pretty hyped up and I have to say I've really been reaching for it a lot this month. Really really like it and although it's sort of that bronzy brown colour it's surprisingly versatile. I, I did arm and ar about mulch quite a bit so um, I'm really glad that I did pick that one up. I've been going out quite a bit in April and um, I guess because the weather has finally been warming up and whenever I go out I tend to wear um, false lashes. These are looking a little bit battered so please excuse their appearance but um, these are the Ardell Demi Wispies I love these they're my favorite eyelashes and I've also got a pair from Kiss that I quite like as well um, as you can see I'm not very good at looking after my false lashes particularly when I get in after a night out the last thing I feel like doing is like cleaning them making sure they look all perfect for next time I tend to pick them up cheaply when I can and I use them a couple of times and then throw them out which is a bit of a waste but it's the price I pay for being lazy I guess um, Finally, I've got a non-beauty favourite for you, and that is Quinoa. I've been on a bit of a health kick, as you may recall from my last favourites, and Quinoa is one of my favourite foods. Now, I'm celiac, so I can't eat things like couscous, but I find that this is a really quick and healthy lunch. It's high in protein, so it fills me up. Um, the only thing I don't like about Quinoa is I can't stand the smell of it cooking, so I've been paying a little bit more and getting these sachets. You literally pop it in the microwave for a minute. And I tend to mix it in with maybe some ratatouille-style vegetables, or a salmon fillet, something like that, and that's my lunch, and it's really quick, easy, and healthy, and it fills me up, so I've really been enjoying quinoa, and I would recommend it if you don't know what it is. It's a grain, but it's sort of very high in protein, very healthy, and it's the superfood of the Incas, and because I'm obsessed with all things South American, that definitely appeals to me as well. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your April favourites have been, or if you've tried any of these products, what your thoughts on them are. If you're not already subscribed, then please do so. There's a button just below, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.